Coming up for today's AFL Today Show, we are wrapping up all of the games from round 18, one of which didn't happen because the Blues are great and are not bad. Uh, hey, Alex, what was your favourite thing from today's show and the round? I think that we've found a new segment for Wednesday show upcoming called Footy Dads, and oh, I yeah. can't wait to dive deep into that. It is my best TV ele- elevator pitch I've ever come up <laughs> yeah. with. It's awesome. Stats boy? Uh, a bit of Lawson Humphreys, and I'm staying away from Charlie Dixon after bagging him for half now. Yeah, yeah. you better steer clear of just South Australia, yeah. I reckon. Uh, we are ready. talking full credit to the boys, the best team that we saw, the best player that we saw, old mate, no mates. We're breaking down every single game. We've got the ladder check. It is a Chockers show. It was a Chockers week of 40. Better go around it on the AFL Today Show right now. Bird Sesh. Hey, gentlemen, what's 15 metres? Stats Boy is overestimating like height and uh, <laughs> distances at this point. So 15 metres is like, oh, it's from here to like Alex. Yeah, well, that's what the, um- no, the umpires think it has to be the other. You have to kick it 25 metres nowadays. Apparently. Or sometimes you can kick it eight. So. Yeah. I had some umpires on the weekend in my footy that couldn't okay, even see don't, it. We don't pa- care about paying, your third division. No, I'm just I saying do. they were paying uh, kicks that were exactly fit. That was spot on. That, these are AFL umpires don't know what 15 is and local footy umpires we, do. We I don't know understand that. They that. Don't. Hmm. don't understand. The vent sesh here is quite simply, maybe, just maybe, you can put your hand up before this and go, hey, AFL team, <laughs> just this week, we're going to have a little bit of a focus on the length of your kicks. Mm. Just FYI. Yeah. So don't flip out when we go, that was 13 metres, play on. Yeah. I'm completely fine. Or 20 metres. <laughs> I'm 100% fine with the umpires going, that was short, play on. I'm yeah, all for it. It's, I think it's fun kicks, for the game as well. Chip kicks are a blight on the game. Yeah, I think move yeah. the ball, move the ball, move the ball, I move agree. the ball. Let's go. At the same time, to not just come out of the blue and go, we're going to crack down on this thing. It's like no one was complaining about this last no. week. No one. No one's ever we're, cared No one ever it. cares about it, really. fixing things that are not broken oh, at some point. That's like, the AFL model. At the same time, yeah. Collingwood and Geelong, I th- oh. feel like, would feel very aggrieved mm. at some of the umpiring on Friday night. I but think Collingwood 15, fans especially. 15 metres nah, calls were absolutely horrendous, and uh, we had a bunch of those. Hey, also, though, extra bonus Vintage, uh, which I was going <laughs> to save possibly for why I can't stand, but this floating fixture. Uh, for round Alex, 24. you have vibes on floating fixture. Round 24 yep. is just chaos anyway. Yeah. But my biggest point at the moment is not so much the floating fixture, but the release of the fixture and how we've gone, okay, we're going to really dig in and figure out what works. And then they come up with this absolute dog's breakfast for the rest yeah. of the season where in they the next few weeks- They get rid of weeks, Thursday night football. We get rid of <laughs> Thursday night football. We get that. But some of these clashes, some of these decisions where we're going, oh, we'll have Essendon and Adelaide Essendon, Who this thought Friday that night. was a good idea? When, even when this was announced- I don't know why anyone was like, you know what would be a really good Friday night game? <laughs> Nobody. Well, yeah. All right. Nobody. If Saturday you, night that yeah. week as well, you've got so a weird. Richmond team playing Port. That is one of the more disappointing games mm. of the round. You've got Cats, Dogs, But that's, awesome. yeah, that, that, that's hidden against the Cats, j- dogs, the Cats yeah. Dogs I'm gonna, game. I'm gonna, I might go that one. It is absolutely chaos. And you continue on down the line week on week on week. You've got another Saturday night clash where it's like a – Demons GWS game, which is very, very, very good in terms of uh, ladder positioning, but is going to be brutal to watch. Mm. Whereas, come on, give me a Q clash. Q, Sun's yeah, why is Q cl- is about like four thirty-five is like, technically push it on the Saturday night. Let's go. Yeah. But it's on it's on Foxtel for people that don't have free true, to wear true. unless you're in Queensland. But it's like next weekend, you've got the Swans playing the Lions at one ten on Sunday. Yeah, that's weird. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is so, weird. Gabba would be pumping at night. If they've looked at this. Well, even, even the afternoon game. Mm. But like the we, Optus game is all right too. When we announce these fixtures, it shouldn't be so hard to go, look, crystal ball a little bit. Mm. Uh, we're not letting Richmond play any more like primetime games. Yeah. Or St Kilda. You brought it upon yourself. Yeah, bottom We've four, got yeah. enough really good teams this year just to go hammer and tongs and just allow it all to breathe. And at the moment, they're not doing it and it stinks. Is this when, when I tell you that on August 2nd there's two Friday night games? Oh, I forgot it. I hate when they do that. They always Let's go. Ah, that's going to be a long and then session. And then that weekend, you have Carlton and Collingwood at 7.30 on the Saturday. At the same time, Port Adelaide and Sydney. Ooh. Which has got massive, massive, massive ladder ramifications. Yeah. And it's also Pendle's 400th. Yeah. You I'm can, not you, entirely convinced that the AFL fixturing system isn't actually just like 1,000 monkeys at 1,000 computers. I'm 
Yeah. Prove me wrong, yeah. AFL. No. Prove me wrong. Remember when they rolled out that AFL fixturing bloke and they're like, why do you not do this? He's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> it just like started talking in windings. You're like, bro, what's going on? Did, hey, did we did talk? He's job. talking like a sim. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> He's like, oh, my God, I'm going to go on gear. You're like, dude, AI's use pretty, words. AI is pretty powerful. What is going on? I'm just looking at the fixture here. Did you, men- did you mention that Richmond St. Kilda is a Sunday Free to wear game in a oh, couple of weeks. Oh, who Love thought that? that? For bottom two, Sunday, Sunday, 8, Sunday, people Sunday that August eleventh oh. at Marvel Stadium. Richmond is the home team. Play St Kilda. I love that. I'm on holidays that week, so sucked in you two. I'm not watching <laughs> that. We're, we're just going <laughs> to skip that game. <laughs> oh it was my a draw, God. I think. I'll oh. be checking all of. These. At the same time, uh, Saturday night at the same time is Essen and Gold Coast at Marvel, and then you've got at the MCG. So there's a game at Marvel and the MCG at the same time. Both in Melbourne. You've oh. got Melbourne taking on Port. Like what? What are we doing? What? We've got two stadiums in Melbourne. Why is the games on at the same time? Monkeys, typewriters. <laughs> what the hell is going on? If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on, do it now. Do it. <laughs>